hey, we're going to do something really quick and easy today. Did you know that you can make homemade borsin cheese? I mean, really? And how easy could it possibly be? So in the bowl, I have whipped two blocks of cream cheese and two sticks of butter. And to it, I already have everything all me measured here, if you can see. My cute little measurements here, we have, I'm going to read them off here. Parsley, thyme, basil, dill, marjoram, salt, garlic powder, and I'm going to put a dash of black pepper in here. But it's all in here, and you know how you bring your dried spices to life again? You just rub them between your fingers and release the oils. So I have done that, but just wanted to show you. So in the bowl goes all our spices here. Get all the salt in, and we're just going to give that a quick whip. pepper. And I'm going to put just a squeeze of lemon juice because I'm actually going to turn this into a cheese ball. Now you could also use this for pasta. You could throw it in with some hot pasta and it'd be delicious. You could also use this on a bagel with some smoked salmon. Would be delicious also. Yummy. So lots of ways to use it. So let's fix that up. But I am going to make these into cheese balls. So how about that? So I have going to make balls here. I've got some saran wrap, and I'm going to make two. And then I'm going to roll it in some fresh parsley and some lemon zest that I have grated here to put on the outside of our cheese balls. But I'm going to have to refrigerate them a little bit first. So I just wanted to show you what I was going to do, and I think it's going to be plenty for what I want to make a cheese ball, so I thought, shoot, we'll make two. So, let me scoop this off a little bit, show you what we made, and we've got homemade borsin, that quick. So, easy peasy, and you can put whatever spices you like in here. If you don't like dill, or you like um, maybe tarragon, go for it. I don't use dried spices that much. So this recipe, this is what it called for. Of course, this is one you saw, I saw on, so, on social and I just had to try. So I, um, that's why I want to roll it in the fresh parsley and the lemon zest. So we have quite a bit here because it's two blocks of cream cheese and two sticks of butter. So I'm just going to divide it up here and make a couple. Now this is how I make a cheese ball. I'm going to divide it. And they're going to be, I could probably have made a third one. But these are going to be large. I will, yummy. Okay, here we go. Just going to roll this up and let it refrigerate for a little bit because I won't be able to roll these fresh herbs on, uh, on there yet. But here we go. This is how you make a cheese ball. That's it. Easy as pie. Easy peasy. And then once this gets refrigerated for a few minutes, maybe half an hour or an hour, it'll be firm enough to roll in how I'm going to serve it with the parsley and the lemon zest. So there you go. Easy peasy homemade borsin.